Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting video with your boy Solomon. And today, we're going to be talking about frame capture in CapCut. Right, so this would be found under your tools, your quick tools. All right, so once you go on your old tools, you would find it right there under quick actions. And uh, for mine, it is the very last item. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it frame capture. And uh, it says capture perfect moments. All right, so I'll just go ahead and uh, pick one of my videos okay something just okay. random so i'll just work with this or let me see about yeah. that. okay so that's fine so next so i'll just go ahead now on this screen you will scroll all the way to the frame where you would want you would like to capture and uh let's see we want to capture this particular frame i say here all right uh once you do that you hit the capture button and it has given that so it, this gives you leverage to actually capture multiple frames up to nine frames from a particular video up to nine frames so I'll just work with three uh you could insert filters on the images so let's say something like um it says no materials are licensed for commercial use apart from these so we could go ahead and just do that all right so once we're done with that this filter will be applied to all frames captured that's fine by me you can see that gives a very nice filter and uh, you can see the before and after from here from this button right here before and after before and after now once you're done with that go ahead and export and it also gives you the options you see the, the images have already been saved it also gives you a button where you can share to TikTok, and also a button where you could create a collage out of it so there are three images and we could do this right sell them robe or levitical priest and you could also reorder them by clicking and dragging okay so you could actually reorder that and uh, change the layout from beneath and uh, once you're done with that you could even decide to change the ratio to a 9 by 16 or 4 by 3 I think this this works perfectly for me though yeah or even uh, yeah okay i think this is best right so a 16 by 9 and um we'll go ahead to even edit more you know once you hit on the edit more it takes you into the edits and you could add you know your, your normal timeline you could add a number of things you know based on what you're working with and once you're done with that you hit on exports and voila that actually works just fine so if you did that correctly heading over to your heading over to your photos app you could find all images here now the reason why you would like to do this is because when you check the details you would find out that this actually saves at a very high or good enough it actually saves at a very high resolution right a high enough resolution that you could work with and reuse so in cases where you want to create a thumbnail or you really just want to work with it in a design right this works perfectly fine of course if you have any questions do let me know in the comments section below and i will be sure to answer the questions as soon as i can please do well to like share and subscribe and until then i will see you guys in the next